Thank you for tuning in. And we're sponsored by King Lord Jesus Christ Covenant Bible Faith Ministries. Um, right now we're going into Jesus Nano. Jesus Nano right now, we're gonna talk about the global effect that Christ is about to yield or about or about to be revealed upon the world. And the global effect is when um the message I've been preached, but now the manifestation of what was preached is actually to be revealed to all. Because the thing about it, it states that it will come a time when man will have to seek and know God for himself. It won't be nobody telling you, come see Jesus here, come see Jesus there, or come over here, he's coming here, here. No, you're going to send him for yourself, and he's going to present himself. Um, And it's the greatest thing about it. Him being omniscient. That means you, it shouldn't be a. It shouldn't be. You shouldn't have to feel like you have to run somewhere to obtain Jesus Christ. You don't have to go nowhere for God to accept you. You don't have to go nowhere for God to accept you. He'll come and accept you right then and there. He might have to change some things to get you. <coughs> get you out, out of certain situations, but. He will come to accept and to actually reveal himself to you, you know. Um, now back to the topic of Jesus Christ Nano. The topic of discussion is actually, um, basically it's always prevention, anti-corruption, and um, anti-depression. Which means I'm talking, so um, certain people that are out and about and I feel like they have some of the greatest testimonies they just need people to tell them like man go ahead it's your time to stand up and um, tell the testimony of what Christ how, what, how, how Christ have treated you and what he have brought you from out of because that's the only way you break strongholds and generation curses you know and sometimes what I don't realize me personally just with generation curses that sometimes it do take a long time because it's it's a um it's a breaking down of many barriers. Generation curses come with many barriers. And it takes time to break one down and break the other one down. And then you got to sustain energy while you're breaking them down. Or else you will miss the focus of what God wants you to do. Which means to share his message throughout all life. And then once you share his message, then guess what? It's something about when the message actually hit ears and eyes that can see and ears that can hear it actually um what can i say it works on the inner parts it breaks it breaks ones down one down in from envy and pride and ego and actually um help them find a way because god has a way he has one way that always works jesus christ you know why it works because the love that jesus christ had in him and he bestowed upon this world is unimaginable it's unimaginable that's why that's why he gives us testimonies because he knows that it's, it's going to be certain times in life where we have a testimony that actually is just it's, it's so unbelievable that i feel like that's why they come up with the word miracle like <laughs> some some miracles it is so hard to describe because it's just a expression of love that is so beyond man thought that it was um uh, it is is it it, it it is true to any and all, you know. It's like you would know your fake miracles from your real miracles. The real miracles last. They like they engrave in people to the point where you will use your miracle as a testimony one day. And that'll grow. That'll grow. That'll grow on the message of Christ too. Everything that Christ gives to us is to glorify Him, whether we want to do it or not. Because He because the thing about it. Man want to work with choice, but really it's like the choice. Well, who would want to work with the choice of actually working for the, uh, I mean, uh, with the choice of not having to work with God? I wouldn't even want to work with that choice. Because I know that me working regardless just is not just me. I don't rely on myself. No, I rely on uh, energy or uh, a creator outside of creation. That exists in his own time, his own his own mind, and his own uh, ability to cause things. You know, I'm just amazed that he can actually see through time and see me. But I, I, I don't know. It it may sound like uh, childish to others, but when you went and had a real like living testimony, you'd be like, 
I can't believe it. Like, it, it's an unbelievable thing. Like, God, you're so great. You see you see your smallest creations. Like, yep. You're like, yep. Why, why you think I make hummingbirds? Like, <laughs> why you think I make ants? You're like, you, you're right. <laughs> and it, make, it makes you just be like, oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Because uh, this reel is going to teach you how, how, uh, how downbeating it is and how much oppression is um, advertised. But even media knows that it's only because when the good comes, it overflows. God overflows. I, I, I'm going to tell you, when I say he overflows, he overflows to the point that it touches things in different dimensions. Like, you don't just touch the physical, too. It touches the spiritual, the physical, even the thought of even thinking of anything that can push us forward. Like, you have, like, that, and I didn't know that. That type of faith only comes down when life itself beats you down, but then that's how God uses things to get you where he wants you. And, and, it, and, and, and that right there, it's a, it's, it's a momentum of whenever you beat down, he still have love for you to actually build you back up. Like some of the greatest times I have had in my life was when I was without a lot of things because I seen that I seen the love of God how it works through other people, you know. Like I feel like the person that that wants to have a God that's like, oh, I can't know he don't want to know y'all because he, it's my. God. That's not real God. <laughs> that's not the real God. He, like stop running around here with a statue or an idol. You know what I mean? Huh. Because God wants everybody to know him. Because he made everybody. He made everybody. He wants He wants everybody to know him. What? And then the craziest thing, without him making us, nobody would know him. <laughs> nobody wouldn't even want to know him. But I'm just one of the ones that got the faith to actually be like, well, God, I know you exist because I got so many testimonies where it's like, I'm still, I, I, <laughs> I could be with a question mark, but I'd rather move the question mark and just put Jesus. Because that's what he's going to do in my testimony book. When he read it and he comes to the to the, the scenes where it's like, oh, he's going down in Jesus. And then brings me back up. I'm like, thank you, God. Like, <laughs> Jesus, Jesus that being that actually keeps you above to go to heaven. Because <laughs> everybody know that we, if everybody look at our limit. Now, this is the craziest thing because I'm thinking of this now. And this is Jesus Daniel faint tank. So uh, now just imagine if God was to show us two books of life. Well, it's gonna be books of life and the book of death. And our story, we we like we like okay. Well, we want to see the bad first. We gonna because we know the good gonna be done. But we want to see the bad. And, and that story when he opened the book of death, it's like all your mistakes. And you like, dang, I ain't think God would see that. I ain't, I ain't know God would, well, I do believe in God because I knew he was right. But why would I keep doing that? You're you going to look at that book and be like, why would I keep doing that? And, I, and then you be like, God would be like, okay, which book do you want for eternity? Do you want the book of death with your name on it so you can't blame nobody else? Or do you want the book of life with Jesus' name in it? And he don't blame nobody. And you like, oh my gosh. You're like, let me get Jesus, because on the book of death, I read, I couldn't even get off the first page of all the stuff I done did and God seen. And I didn't even know he seen. He said, eternity. These two books now I could give you. You want the book of death now, you, you're going to be in hell for eternity. Of all the stuff that you did, you're going to bring it back up with your name. But if I give you this Jesus Christ name on you, all that stuff that they bring up or anything bring back, he pushed down because he's the cornerstone of life. Jesus Christ doesn't have to worry about what you came out of because he's providing a way for you to actually live. Regardless of how others may seem or deem it to be possible. But I feel, I, 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 I do more than just feel, I know that God put it in me to know that I made you for a purpose, and it's gonna be time in life where you gonna go through hard things. But I'm gonna always be there, and it's and, and, and it's so it's so unique because I don't been down and God bring other people that are worse than me, and I'm like, well, thank God. I ain't saying thank God like I'm not in their position, but I'm like, thank God, some somebody out here that's outside of my mind sees me that loves God too, because that's what it comes down to. I don't have I the the best people I like to like talk about is like you know uh. 
military people that has served a long time and I'm being over there because they tell some of the best stories. I'm like, ooh, thank you. Thank you. Because you, you, you give me experience and stuff that I wouldn't even want to go through <laughs> because I'm, I'm still over here trying to battle with the stuff that we have over here. But I'm so glad that God do provides people. And I tell a person, like, if you believe in God, you're a protector. So that and I'm that's why I'm constantly pushing for 2023, uh, military, the one um, law enforcement like protector. We're, we're saying protection over here, protector, protector, because we got to get the killing them, the killing and murder out the minds of those that are here to protect God's kids. You know, no, I don't. I, I feel like the, it's not because what situation I'm in, but I feel like even if I'm in a situation, I still want God to rule overall in, 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 in every area of life so that's the only way you beat your own ego down sometimes i tell a person to get ahead in life you got to beat your own ego down for the real do it because then they'll use that and then your reaction towards it will, will, will cause destruction you know and, and it's so crazy because <laughs> i i can't even believe i'm saying this stuff right now <laughs> because it, it, it was a time where it was hard for me to express myself you know, because you go through the steps of healing and growth upon yourself, and it takes time. It takes time. And I'm think, I'm so glad that God got that word of grace and mercy. Because without it, I don't think I would have had a leg, or, or I don't think I would have had a right foot or a left foot to walk anywhere or to do anything with boldness or confidence in God. You know, he the one that had to exist before all this, for this to exist. Then I was like, oh, thank you for mercy and grace, God. Thank you for, for thank you for forgiveness. Thank you for your son. Thank you for the blood. Thank thank you for choosing the people, the, the ones that the world wouldn't choose. If the world would have choose me, I wouldn't have been here. But since they didn't choose me and God chose me, oh man, Shh. that's a type of love that's on a higher level that it it it, it makes other people frustrated at times, you know. Like, yeah, I, I might be here and I might make mistakes. I'm a, a, I might frustrate other people, but as long as I'm not, what's the name, trying to bring harm into your life and I'm trying to take away the stuff that they don't need to walk around here with. Especially if I don't been through something, certain things that other people haven't been through or they don't been through certain things I haven't been through. Yeah, people need to hear that because that's that's where the testimony is wrapped up. The heat, that Jesus Christ is the yeast of all life. He's the one that works through all of us. Regardless of um, our titles, our positions, or what we can do to each other, or what we can't do to each other, it's still going to come a time when man goes out and conquer the whole world, and then turns back and try to conquer himself, and then realize one thing, like, okay, if I conquer the whole world, after that, I'm going to go mad, and then try to conquer myself, and then go crazy, and what's going to end up is... I done conquered the real and I got depression. I ain't conquered the real and got Christ with me. <laughs> you did. <laughs> and that's that that is the that is the uniqueness of having Jesus Christ. Because it, it's not about conquering the real. It's about spreading joy. It's spreading a different type of joy that actually builds up each each person. Confidence and faith. Like I tell a person, I actually live a life of faith. I don't know what's going on tomorrow. I, I pray, but I don't. I don't try to worry about it, like you know, like other people would try to, because that would take from what is Christ. What's Christ doing right now? What's Christ doing today? How He's using me, like to actually wake up and actually be used by God, regardless. Because the craziest thing, if He's He's the one that searches out our minds and thoughts and hearts, and He knows what what um what is to be expected you know he's the one that created us he knows all the wrongs we're gonna make and all the, he just tried to, he, he he wished that we we would go straight even though he knows it's times where we're gonna detour from off the road you know and that comes in, that just comes with growing in christ it comes with growing in christ because god already know he tells you that he's he's married to the backslider so <laughs> this is so crazy. It's kind of like having a wife that'll go cheat on you, right? And she go cheat on you, and all the people she cheat on you with, you know where she gonna be at. So you just pull up, get the get in the car. You <laughs> like what is going on? <laughs> that's how 
this now this is how God doing it. He like, yo, I know, I know you done went over there, you done tried that, you done tried that, you tried that too? You tried this? What about that? That? You ain't finished with none of this yet? He like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> like I, okay, I'm, I'm I, I gotta I gotta go over there. I gotta go. Over there. That that uh, and it's so crazy because we see it in life right now. We see it in life. We constantly see it in life. When people will be like, I know God, but hold on right quick, I gotta go over here. You know, uh, it'd be like, yeah, you know that God stuff y'all talking about. You know, yeah, but you know, I gotta go talk about something that's temporary. Exactly. You know, it's it's it's. And, it, and, and it, I feel like the chosen ones, we the ones that talk about internal things, cause we we spirit beings. We were put here, God put us here, to um actually be the representation of Christ, you know, because Christ always Christ always have a um imprint of Him upon the earth, everywhere, regardless if it's big or small, it always and it always holds, it always stands the test of time. <laughs> like man. Yo, I'm glad that God got other creations out there that watch what watch out the man too. You know, his angels. Right? Michael, Gabriel, right? Thank you, God, for having angels. Thank you, God, for having creatures that protects. You know, thank you. Thank you for all that you do. All that you do. All, all. Yes, yes, yes. And it's coming from the bottom of my heart. God, thank you for all that you do. Thank you for doing all that you can and possibly will do, you know. Like, I, I thank you for the things that you have done, the things that you will keep doing in the future. <laughs> That's the great thing about knowing a bonded God. And, yeah, he's just, and, yeah, you know, you got the destruction and everything. But when you realize how good he is towards you, but it takes that personal time to get close, then you're going to be like, oh, my goodness. Thank you, God, forever existing ever existed and I know truly if you didn't exist I wouldn't be here I wouldn't be here and I'm not scared to say that I'm not scared to say that I'm not scared to say I ain't nothing without Jesus Christ he truly is my Lord and Savior Boy, I wouldn't even be here to even testify or even say thank you Jesus many times many times many times plenty of times <laughs> anytime <I'm like laughs> But the greatest thing about this being being here, being that, is that God provided this. So I know it was to be true. It was, it was a time and place where he made it possible for me to stand in front of people. Brother, I don't care what title, I don't care. Every, and just say, thank you, Jesus Christ. And yeah, he is true. He is still true. He's still true. And hopefully this will build somebody else courage up and stand up and just say, thank, thank God and say it to the real. Mean it when you say it. Mean it. You know, when they mock them, they be mean it. You know, when they blaspheme them, they be mean it. But you don't want to be mean it when it's time for you to testify about Jesus Christ to a bunch of people you don't know. So until next time, keep the faith.